All right, insiders, we are back with another exciting edition of Creator Insider. We're growing the channel, we're being more responsive to your feedback, and we're also really taking to heart all of the suggestions that you've been making. Um, I also write in the comments that the production quality has been getting a little bit, bit better, um, especially the lighting. And I'd love to take credit for it, but if I'm honest, it's just a reflection of the floor um, on a sunny day. So. We'll put that down to some hacks that maybe we'll put together for a different Creator Insider video. But for now, we will get back to some stellar updates. All right, so that first update we are gonna be talking about this week is around the Create button. What's gonna be happening is the Create button is gonna be moving from the top right-hand corner to the bottom navigation. Subscriptions is gonna be moving one spot to the right and notifications is gonna be moving up to that top right-hand corner. This was previously launched and tested in India only, but now we're rolling it out globally across iOS and Android. This is in response to feedback we got from people on this channel as well as through a couple of other sources that the current placement really wasn't intuitive. All right, next up is the launch of hashtag landing pages. Now, what this is, is a dedicated landing page devoted to a certain hashtag. We're launching this so that we can create a more engaging experience for users that might be interested in a certain hashtag or when they see a hashtag, on somebody's video and they wanna click through, they can see all of the other videos that are dedicated to that hashtag. It also provides a better platform for future launches if it's gonna be centered around a hashtag. Next up, we have Shorts Traffic Source is available in YouTube Analytics. Now, this is really cool because since Shorts launched, what creators had been seeing in terms of the views that were coming through Shorts was unknown in traffic sources, and that's because it hadn't yet been classified. For some creators, this was the majority of their traffic. But from now on, when you go into traffic sources, you'll see the views derived from your Shorts classified as such Shorts. Next up, we have yet another launch. Now, this one is going to give creators the ability to toggle mid-roll ads on or off in Studio Mobile. Now, the benefit of this is it will give more video level monetization functionality. And where am I gonna find this setting, you ask? Well, we're moving it from the top tab to an inline row in Studio Mobile. If you didn't watch last week, you may not know that we've changed things up a little bit when it comes to trivia and the questions that we ask you. We thought one thing that might be more interesting is hearing your questions and getting an answer directly from the team. Now, we got so, so many questions. If you want to take a look at them, go and look at last week's newsflash. Um, and what we're gonna do over the next couple of weeks is we'll be picking a new question to answer at the end of every newsflash. When it comes to the questions, some of them are simpler to answer and there'll be a shorter answer and some of them are gonna be longer and complex. Now, because of that reason, we're gonna try and bake those questions into different kind of groupings of uploads that we would have on Creator Insider. So for example, we might bake them into some of the search and discovery videos that we do with Rachel and Todd or we might do them with Team X, Team Y, Team Z. But you're gonna find at least one of them here on the news flash until the end of the month every week. So let's move on. This week's question, now you're gonna have to bear with me because I'm gonna have to read some of this out. This week's question was from Dragonate, hope I'm pronouncing that right, who asks, do likes or dislikes do anything at all for the algorithm and discoverability? or lack thereof of your videos or channel? Now, that was a great question. Uh, Rachel couldn't make it on this week, but she did write up a reply for us directly to your question, Dragonate. Um, so she said, likes and dislikes are part of hundreds of signals we consider when it comes to ranking. Makes sense. For a given video, our recommendation system learns a lot from how people choose to watch a video when it's offered in recommendations. How long and how much of the video the viewer watches and if they're satisfied. 
your overall video performance is determined by a combination of these factors. Like today, we're not gonna be answering every single question, but check back every couple of days and you might actually see an answer to your question in the comments below. So bear with us. This is something that we're trying out. We really wanna make sure that we're providing your meaningful updates to you. So that's a wrap on this week's News Flash uh, and we'll see you next week.